View from the Top and invites MIT graduates who are leaders in business, research, and academia to share their observations about trends and challenges in our ever-evolving world. Tonight's topic is putting science to work. Regardless of whether you think science is working for you or you're working for science, I think all of us feel that it's an amazing enterprise that you want to be a part of. I remember having the thought when I was a, a junior that it would be really interesting if we could learn to program cells uh, much in the way we, you know, we program, uh, we write a computer program to solve a problem. And it would be really fascinating if we understood the design rules, we understood the language, and uh, we actually then had the ability to design and engineer cells as biocatalysts for producing everything from new medicines and vaccines to chemicals and ultimately uh, fuel products. Many naysayers said these things can't be done or this will never work. And yet people that have the vision are able to do these things and surprise themselves and surprise the world. We have to make something in this country to innovate. And MIT gets that. So I chose to go to the Sloan School. I started working at companies then um, that uh, were owned by their employees. They care for the community, care for the environment, care about their employees, and there's wealth shared, and they're performing. It was also a testing ground for me, and I started testing videos and how to use videos to uh, help these companies be ready. And um, I started learning the power of video. So that launched me into trying a new project, which was doing a documentary film. Education has to be multimedia going forward and storytelling, along with the analytics, is, is critical. Uh, I treat my job like it's, like it's my own business. If everybody feels that sense of uh, pride and, and responsibility, we can change the world and do great things. We have 11,000 employee-owned companies and many, many more that have broad-based ownership. And these are hard companies, and we need to be able to train how to, how to run these kind of companies. I knew how to learn. I didn't know how to think. I went to MIT, and it just turned my life around. It opened up enormous vistas. The entry-level course was 601 was taught by a man named Amar Bose. He would give us problems, and he kept saying over and over, he said, I don't care what the answer is. He said, I'm giving you problems. I know what the answer is. What I really want to know is how you approach the problem, he said, because in life, you will be posed problems that we've never asked, you know, questions we've never asked, and you need to know how to approach those problems. And somehow, that transformed my way of thinking. I went into cardiac surgery, and then I went into radiology and did work in variety of imaging, and then came up with an idea for an MRI. And the big companies said, well, an interesting idea, but it'll probably never work. And we hired a bunch of people who were really smart but had no background in NMR or MRI. And so they didn't know that this wouldn't work. And um, we, we made it work. So when I hear somebody say, <laughs> that'll never work, or everybody knows that, my ears perk up because I say, that's an opportunity. Go where the herd isn't, because the herd is always wrong. <laughs>